Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a career reading, the ultimate career reading. I'm going to be giving you guys advice on what sort of career you could be doing and advice. So if you already have a career but you're not too sure on it, it'll give you some advice but also it'll give you some idea as to what sort of career you could be doing in the future and just to give you some guidance around your career in general. So this will cater to various different people on wherever level you are within your career and things like that. So let's get started. So I'm going to put some crystals on the cards. So please choose your group now. We have one, two, three and four. Please choose your group now and let's put the crystals on. Okay, so we have group number one with the Mookite Tower, group two with the Caribbean Calcite, group three with the Rhodonite, and group four with the Pink Opal. So please choose your group now. If you would like extra time, please pause the video. Time stamps are down below in the description box and in the comment section down below. So let's get started, starting for group number one. Hello, group number one. You guys chose the gorgeous little Mookite. These come in various different colors because they are so different so sometimes they will be like this gorgeous kind of yellow mustardy color and sometimes they will be a lovely deep red so various different types but these these are going to be available on my shop if they're not already okay so let's get started with your reading let's get the other cards let's see what sort of career you could have and let's get you some advice on your current situation right so we have environmentalist it says you're an earth angel who was born to protect nurture and teach about nature and the animals so the main thing that I get from this card first of all is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn like really strong so you could be that type of person you could have that in your chart or you could just be very connected to nature we have yoga I do feel like you guys are very grounded or needing to be in a grounded environment because you're very sensitive you're very sensitive to your environment you're very empathic around your environment so this will help support you in your environment we then have Labradorite beautiful so very spiritual career let's move these over here Sorry about the light on the cards, guys. Okay, we then have Angel Uriel, Trust. We have Lemuria, Creating Heaven on Earth. It's happening. Definitely a lot of earthy energy. I love that. I don't know if I can fit this card in. And we have this one called The Father. So I'm going to put him up there. So main message I'm feeling for you guys is you guys are really working on I mean it sounds kind of obvious but you guys are working on being financially stable the father is all about that masculine energy it's the almost like the breadwinner kind of deal and that's a very kind of old way of being because you know obviously everyone's a breadwinner but I do feel as if part of you your masculine energy is really you're really working on your masculine energy right now so this can be your masculine energy in terms of sexual energy it can be creative energy it can be being more assertive and kind of telling people what you want and how you want it and being more able to express how you really feel I'm getting like a really big anxiety energy from just by pulling this last card so I do feel as if you are struggling to make a choice on what it is that you want and actually moving forward with that choice so we do have Labradorite so you guys are very psychic or you are working on your psychic abilities I do feel as if you guys are very naturally empathic you're very naturally sensitive and naturally drawn to anything high vibrational spiritual that sort of thing and we do have Uriel so we do have the energy of trust here so I do feel like for you guys it's really important for you to trust the process trust the journey and know that you are doing all the right things because at the end of the day if you want the universe will guide you towards where you need to go and I do feel like the universe is definitely guiding you towards where you are needing to go and I do feel as if this this energy of Uriel especially because we have trust you do feel as if um, as an energy of feeling uncertain and with the with the Archangel Uriel he's all about knowledge and messages and things like that he is the messenger and he is the, the person who kind of creates this energy of like downloading messages and giving you information so I do feel as if you're going to get some sort of information from this uh, Archangel but it could also be as Archangel is one that works with you he's also really good with anger helping you deal with your anger so if you do have um, a really uncomfortable energy around anger or you're just working on your anger I do feel as if you may become angry when things don't go your way not all the time but I do feel like there is a tendency there so I do feel like this is definitely your masculine energy balancing out because when the masculine energy is kind of in the you know the uh, what's the word like not not right when it's not when it's not balanced essentially it's definitely energy of 
anger. It's very angry. It's very possessive, aggressive, that sort of thing. Poet didn't know it. So I do feel as if you are working on balancing both sides of it. I'm hearing both sides of the coin. I'm hearing both sides of the coin are worth it. So it's not just one side of something. It's basically the underbelly of it as well. So you're going to start to realize something that's basically going on behind the scenes. And that has shaped a lot of the things that you've gone through in your past. So I do feel as if being out in nature and being a yoga teacher or some sort of teacher is going to be something that you could definitely do. I feel like you're a teacher or you're a born leader. You're somebody who is quite sensitive, but you're not. I feel like a lot of you guys aren't super happy about being a leader, but you are a teacher. I feel like you do want to teach or you want to help people in some way with your knowledge and like physical experience. So I see you being like more hands on with something, not so much with knowledge, I feel more to do with hands-on, possibly even doing volunteering or something with environment. And it could be veganism, I'm hearing botanicals, herbalism, that sort of thing. But just to let you know, guys, that wherever you are manifesting, if it's taking a bit longer than what you think, or maybe I'm also hearing you're having to shift your perspective because at the end of the day, if you are changing your career or you're wanting something different within your career, I do see that you're needing to change up yourself. So basically change within ourselves then has a ripple effect and then changes our environment. So we can't have change unless we create change. So essentially you're going in, you're going through quite an intense process right now, but it's a really nice process. It's a process of, I'm getting somewhere just a little bit slower, but I do like the fact that we have creating heaven on earth, it's happening, because we do have this environmentalist energy here as well, which is really, really nice. So just ask Uriel to cut any negative cords if you are struggling with kind of manifesting around money. So ask Angel Uriel to kind of break and cut sorry cut the cords not break them cut the cords uh with any negative ties you have around finances and money and trust you may worry about trust because at the end of the day money is security on one level at the end of the day so all right so let's have a look at what sort of career you could be going into and just some general energy around your astrology what's going on right now okay we have jupiter beautiful jupiter's a really nice energy oh okay Okay, very nice. Can we get a star sign, please? I feel like we need some sort of star sign. Can we get a star sign, please. I'm really picking up strong Virgo vibes from this group. So if you have Virgo in your chart, really channel that energy wherever it is in your moon, your Venus. So say if it's in your moon, you're going to want something that's emotionally secure. And if it's in your Mars, you're going to be somebody who's very sensitive, comes across as very light. So that... In turn, wherever it is in your chart, use that to understand what's the best career for you. Say if it's in your sun, you're going to be somebody who may not be as assertive. You're learning to be assertive. If it's in your Venus, you're going to want organisation, tidiness, things like that. Okay, so we have Gemini as well. So I do feel like you're somebody who does have a lot of ideas, but you do have trouble expressing them. And I definitely feel like you're working on your masculine energy. We have this Mars card here. And we have willpower, desire, fortitude and rage. There's definitely energy around anger and feeling angry and almost a little bit possessive. So I do feel as if that's something you're working on. It could be uh, dealing with a Scorpio or Aries before like, and like clearing out. I'm hearing I'm hearing clearing out the rubble before you can get to the newness as well. So definitely an expansion in your career. We have pause in time, change of plans, limbo and improvisation. So literally as these cards have kind of come out, it's really nice because you have realized you want an expansion. It's happening. You're having to pause and wait for the right timing to occur. And then we also have releasing act of service gratitude. Essentially, when you do release your kind of hold on having to have full knowledge of what's going on, I think you're going to start to realize that it is in divine timing and trust in the universe. And obviously you have to match the universe as well. You have to do some work. Like definitely if you're waiting and pausing, remember that while you're doing that, you are definitely releasing a lot. So if you are definitely in a pause, then recognize that this will happen in the right timing. Okay, I definitely feel that. And then you can take some action. And also this is about working on your confidence. So in this pause of time, focus on your confidence and what you can really focus on towards what, is going to enable you to get there essentially hopefully that makes sense so let's get you some tarot and i'm going to pull a couple of charms for you i'm not going to focus fully on the charms but i do feel the need to kind of pull a couple of charms for this reading today so we're going to do that as well 
Temperance, the devil. Yeah, definitely waiting. So I love how these are pretty much in the same energy as the Astro cards because we have this energy around with the devil. I feel as if this is a definitely energy of like waiting for the right timing to come across. And I feel like if you are worried about that, this is something that you'll need to work on, working on patience and balance and obviously I know patience isn't the most fun thing but you will get there guys and it comes with practice and at the end of the day if you're not a patient person girl that might be something that the universe is asking you to work on right now even if it's not that fun and then with the ace of wands this is definitely an energy of a new thing coming in it just takes a little bit of releasing this energy so this could be an addiction an obsession a fit um a thought a way the way you're thinking about something so releasing this this kind of tension around the energy because at the end of the day if it's out of your hands you have to release it to feel less tension because in the, the day, if you're feeling that tension then you're going to need to focus on releasing it because you will never be able to feel settled essentially okay so let's get some charms and let's see what's going on for you guys just get a little bit of charm the poor couple here okay so we have the dragonfly i'm gonna grab a box here i'm gonna use this oops okay where did that go it was an elephant <laughs> i can't grab it right now but it was an elephant okay so definitely travel could be on the cards for you in the future I do feel like you could be um mirroring something so it feels as if a part of you is definitely starting to be it's starting to be natural around travel i feel like you're working on travel i feel like you're in, in some form you're you're planning or you're talking to somebody abroad or you could be definitely working with somebody abroad uh things are definitely slower than what we than what you have anticipated or wanted but if through the patience is growth and I do feel as if you're coming into your natural feminine energy as well. And this is going to lead to love. And I do feel like the love energy is about you finding the right career for you that just suits you. It's going to match your energy. It's going to match your vibration. OK, but I do feel like it's a massive energy around travel and patience, guys. So just be very gentle with yourself and know that it will come within the right timing. OK, so I really hope that helps you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. Crystal Shop is also down below as well. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your career reading. So you guys chose the gorgeous Caribbean calcite. Really in love with this crystal. It's very gentle, very, very peaceful. So I feel like you guys are genuinely very peaceful um, a peaceful person i feel like you're somebody who likes to have balance you have a very gentle energy and i feel like you would match something that's very gentle and very calm i feel like you're, invi you're very influenced by your environment so i feel like it's really nice for you to have a calm environment for you to work in and i feel like it's more about the people than actually about the environment but we'll see what that's about so let's get the rest of the cards we have quite a few cards i'll see if i hope i can fit them in the frame okay so we have teaching and speaker so these are very very similar uh, it says teaching you inspire young people to learn and we also have speaker it says your life purpose in, involves your skills of oration so this could be a anything from a blogger a vlogger uh, somebody on youtube a somebody who is at a school a nursery it could be a yoga teacher yoga instructor fitness instructor you could even meet somebody who's any of these qualities so say if you already have a really good career or you're you already found your life purpose and you want to find somebody who also has a really you know a really good purpose as well or you just have found somebody who has these qualities this could be an idea of okay words I'm sorry guys I'm really struggling with my words today tell me what I need to say please Basically, you're going to meet somebody who has these qualities and when you meet them, that's going to be a sign that they could be like a soulmate. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and they could influence you to do this as a job. That's what I'm hearing as well. So it could be like, oh, I'm never going to be somebody who does this. It's not really my thing. And then you meet somebody who does this and you're like, oh, actually, that looks quite good. It looks like it would suit me. OK, two crystals you have here is tourmaline and zebra stone. Really interesting crystals, very intense and deep. So I feel like you guys are doing a lot of intense, deep 
I'm hearing measuring, deep measuring, like you're measuring up your life around your new life that's coming. So it's basically like you're trying out new things or thinking about new things, researching and asking people what sort of job would be good for you and um, what job they have, giving you some inspiration, that sort of thing. Okay, we then have Sisterhood of the Rose, Devotion, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher, which is so interesting. And then we have Imrama, where are you being called to J to? And then I'm going to look at these cards in just a second. So you guys are definitely needing to ground yourself. We have two root chakra energies, smudging and compassion. This is tourmaline, this is zebra stone. Definitely energy of wait your turn, that's what I'm hearing. And I do feel as if if you want to teach and you want to be a speaker, you want to come across as somebody who has a lot of knowledge or you want to spread your knowledge, help people with your knowledge, I feel as if the best thing for you to do is work on how you present yourself. So it could be even around your insecurities around what you look like, because that could actually cause you to feel like you haven't got enough confidence to be in front of people. It couldn't be around children. You could be not confident around children, but you absolutely love children. So it could be something like that. I feel there's an insecurity around your public image, your self image, the way you want to be approached or kind of present yourself. I feel like you want to be involved, but you're scared. That's what I'm hearing. So I feel like you're definitely going for a really big transformation. I feel like I'm hearing that you're different from a lot of people. So I do feel like your energy is very, very gentle, very nurturing, but also very sensitive. So being prepared for this will really help you, I feel, and give you the confidence. And I feel like in the waiting time leading up to this career or job or hobby, I feel as if this is something that is going to really change your life and really help you. So working on your confidence is going to help you to, in the meantime, to help you to get to here. It's almost like I'm hearing just a journey to get there. So I'm not sure if you can, I don't feel like you can jump straight into it. Obviously, I feel like going on a course or something, but I can't see you going straight into this job unless you haven't, if you haven't got the qualifications, because I feel like it's, it's not even about the qualifications. It's more about how your inner confidence. That's what I'm feeling. So I love how we have the mystic and the teacher. So you don't actually have to be a teacher physically in education. You could be a teacher within just online. It could be um, a, a mystic healer, therapist, something like that. We also have where are you being called to journey to. So you could have gone on a shamanic journey. You could do a past life journey. I do offer past life readings. So if you guys are drawn to have one of those, then please feel free to contact me. Um, I do kind of I do past life readings in terms of just any sort of life purpose that wants to come out I normally kind of um get messages for that sort of thing so that could help you guys as well just a suggestion and I do feel like with the sister of the, of the rose I feel like your guides are really assisting you and helping you towards this situation and the fact we got where are you being called to journey to there's definitely a new journey you're on there's definitely a new place you're going to and it's, it's tuning into your intuition and where you want to go. It's kind of like feeding into what feels right for you and don't let your head take over and like worry about it too much because you don't know. And worry, I'm hearing worry isn't going to help. It isn't going to secure a position. So you've got to do what's best for you and just frigging go for it. They're saying just jump, just go for it, you know. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of your cards. So we have planetary cycles and the crones is in the reverse or upright in the reverse. So you guys are definitely holding back on your intuition. You guys have been through various different amounts of cycles and toxic situations with people that have really held you down. And if you are very psychic or very sensitive to your environment, you are going to suck up that energy very, very easily. So what I'm feeling for you guys is a really major detox. And I'm talking about people from your past releasing those, having possibly a diet change, drinking more water, getting more sleep, being in nature is like so pivotal at the moment. I feel like being around less people will help you as well because if you are going to be in teaching, you're going to be have to learn to hold your own energy as well as hold the energy of the room. So I do feel as if this is something that is definitely, you're also going for a cycle as well. So if you guys aren't really interested in a teaching job or anything like that, I just see you're going for a really major cycle within your awakening in terms of your intuition and getting messages and things like that. So I do feel as if this is a really important time for you to work on yourself right now. And then when you do get to a really stable place within your life and, and you're holding your own energy, this will be in the upright position and you're going to be able to really hold that psychic energy. I do feel like you guys, I'm hearing some of you guys are like, literally like a, um, like a spiritual, I'm hearing a spiritual bomb, which sounds really weird. But it's, it's a beautiful energy. It's kind 
kind of like when you get intuitive, you guys are going to be like, it's going to be like your intuition is going to explode. So some of you guys have really been holding back on this or you struggle to connect with your intuition. So the crone is a energy of spiritual, spiritual realization, but also hidden spirituality. So you guys might feel as if, oh, I can't do this. This isn't going to work, blah, blah, blah. But then actually, if you just trust your intuition, it will help you guide you where you need to go. And with the crone as well, he's holding this coin. So I feel like when you do connect to your intuition, money will certainly flow with this, okay? Or maybe not immediately, but it definitely will flow. And I'm definitely hearing that you're working on being a leader. I'm picking up on this sun here. I think that's the sun. Um, but I feel like I'm seeing it as the sun and you leading, like being the leader, the Aries, the firstborn, you know, first in the zodiac. So I feel like you are somebody who is a leader naturally. If, if you're not a full on leader, you're somebody who just likes to be helpful. You like to help people in the forefront, you know, all that jazz. So I do feel something that would really help you is to do some drawing as well and to plan and to write down all the things you want out of your career before you get it. So for me, when I before I was doing this as my career, I didn't actually know what I wanted to do. I just knew all the points that I wanted to feel, like I wanted to earn a certain amount, I wanted to feel comfortable, I wanted to be able to work from home, be self-employed, all those things. So if you can write down everything that you want and don't be like, don't scrimp and scrape, just literally write down every single thing you want, even if you don't believe you're gonna get it, and just put it out there. That's and that's what I did, and, and then it came to me. So I obviously I put the effort out there. I did make a YouTube video to start off with, so you will need to put in that effort. But I do feel as if there's definitely going to be opportunities coming towards you when you accept your natural self and allowing this to work because this is working for you. It's just allowing it to come in naturally. So allowing yourself to be this authentic spiritual person because you are worthy of that attention. And I do feel like it's definitely a thing of worthy of attention as well. That's a really big thing for you guys. Oh, Bob is back. If you guys don't know who Bob is, he's like a little fly. And he always comes in my readings. What's up, Bob? He might not be out. I don't think you can see him. He's kind of off the frame right now. He's, he's a little bit shy. But if you see like a little bug crawling around, it's just Bob. It's a little fly. He's literally like there. Can you see him? <laughs> That's how small he is. <laughs> okay, but he's, he's just sitting there. He's just casually sitting there. I have no idea what spirit guide this is in this bug, but he just, he just is always chilling. So, I don't know. Very, very strange. He always comes out when I'm doing my readings, so just let him chill. Sorry, guys, if it freaks you out. He's just a little fly, so don't even worry about it. Okay, let's see what's going on. Come on, Bob. Off you go. Go away. Go, Bob. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's see what we have here. Okay, I'm going to move Bob out of the way. Come on, Bob, let's go. Oh, there we go. He moved. Okay, we have Mercury, we have the fifth house, and we have sextiles in the re reverse. Okay, cool. And then underneath, we have the moon. Emotions, instincts, receptivity, and safety. So this is literally your intuition right here. Okay, so this is trusting your intuition and your emotions to know that you are on the right path and you are going to get to where you need to go. It just is an energy of trusting yourself, okay? So... I do feel as if communication is quite a big thing for you. You are learning to be strong in your communication and really powerful and confident. I feel like some of you who want to do a teaching job, you're definitely working on speech. Because obviously, if you want to be a teacher, you know, you've got to talk a lot. <laughs> so I feel as if you're learning to be empowered and, you're le and knowledge is power, I'm hearing. So the more knowledge you can gather around the, the career that you want, the better. Also, possibly, if you can, talk to people who already have the career that you may want to do. But also, I'm hearing it doesn't matter if it doesn't work out. You will be guided to where you're going because essentially, I feel like some of you guys are your fixed signs or you have a fixed energy. It's kind of like, well, I don't want to do it because if what if I fail? You know, but what if you achieve it? That's the thing. It's like you can constantly change. You can constantly transform. So don't worry about this energy of like, not sure where I'm going. Just go for it. Don't even worry about it. So this is an energy that's very, very creative. This is all about children and um, creativity, pleasure, playfulness and love affairs, dating, that sort of thing. So I do feel as if you could work with children, work in a creative environment. And we have integration, cooperation, skills, harmony, empathy. And this is in the reverse. So I do feel like you you have so much empathic energy, but you help other people without helping yourself. So I do feel like the more you fill your own cup, the more you're gonna be able to be in this energy and working on yourself. And that's what I'm feeling like really, really strongly is to fill up your own cup. That will help a lot, okay? So let's get you some tarot and I also have some charms as well. So let's see 
what wants to come through for my lovely group number two. Okay. I'm hearing some of you guys want to work in beauty, like eyelash eyelash extensions and eyebrow threading, lip plumping, that sort of thing. So if that's something you want to do, I definitely see that. I'm seeing something around the lips. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Wands. You could work from home if that's something you want to do. With that Four of Wands there. Safety around leaving the home as well. You're working on your confidence. Working on your money and, and, and attaining money. I feel like some of you guys haven't had a job yet, like an actual long, long term job or, you know, an actual job overall. So I think you're nervous about um, you're nervous about failing and um, you're nervous about not achieving your goal, essentially. So I do feel as if you are worried about not achieving something. So you kind of are, are having trouble actually starting it. And what I'm hearing is to just go for it and find your safety within that unknown so whether it is preparing yourself, you know, getting really organized with what it is, kind of researching, that sort of thing would really, really help you. But also I'm just hearing, just let yourself go. Just let yourself enjoy the process because at the end of the day, everything is a journey and we have to, I have to like appreciate the journey as well as the outcome, you know, as well. So we also have the hermit. So you guys could be very introverted. So I do feel like working from home would be really good for you and sustainable for your energy. Because when you are introverted, you do get kind of knackered by um, big energy. If you guys don't know what knackered is, I know some people who aren't from England don't know what the word knackered means. It just basically means you're just really tired. <laughs> so um, I do feel as if you may feel like really, really tired after a really long day. So I do feel as if working on... Um, holding your energy as well would really, really help you. I'm just seeing some of you guys have a really strong tan as well. Um, you may even want to work at a tanning booth as, as well, if that's something that interests you. So we're going to get you a couple of charms. Let's see what we have. Just want to get a few. Okay, that's just a peg. That's not really a, a charm, but <laughs> maybe you could work with clothes, so that could be something as well. I mean, everything comes out for a reason, so... We ain't gone judge. Okay, we have the letter G, starfish. We have a little kitty cat. We have a grenade and a steering wheel. So this is, I feel, as if you guys are working on navigating your process. When you when you actually get into the thing that you really want and you find that thing that you really want, if you don't know what you want right now, you might just be working on finding it. So I feel as if when you find it, it's going to be like light bulb moment, like fireworks go off. You could want to work with the ocean, uh, near the ocean. You could be working, I'm hearing botanicals. It could be like a, 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 a company that's called botanicals. I feel like you guys are very mysterious or the thing that you're going to be doing is quite mysterious. So you could be working with spirit guides or intuition or something like that. You could even be a fortune teller, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I do feel as if you are definitely being guided to work on believing and trusting yourself. And you could be a water sign as well or be meeting a water sign. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoy it and I hope it helped you, lovelies. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shot, all the information is down below in the description box. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's get started with your ultimate career reading. We have the gorgeous Rhodonite Tower, really beautiful for love, stabilizing you and helping you focus on your own energy in love. And also it really just helps you to stay rooted in relationships, in any sort of relationship, whether that be love, friendship, you know, all that jazz. So let's get the rest of your cards and let's see what career you could be doing in this lifetime or hobby or anything like that. It doesn't actually have to be career. Okay, so we have leadership and we have nutrition. So I'm seeing for some of you, leadership can mean various different things. I do feel like leadership is more about your own emotional leadership skills. I don't feel like it has to be a job where you have to be a leader, but it could be you working on your confidence, taking charge of a situation. That's what I'm feeling. And also knowing, that, trusting yourself that you do have the ability to take charge of a situation 
And with the healing work through culinary skills, this is all about you guys. I mean, you could be wanting want to be a chef. You could want to be a waitress. Um, you could want to be something to do with food. So it doesn't actually have to be actual food you can eat. It could be making face masks out of food. It could be making some sort of something to do with like some sort of health or something to, do, something to do with like the sixth house so health and the way you treat yourself I mean this is to do with health I mean eating well so you could be a fitness instructor you could be somebody who really wants to help people work on their bodies and help them become more stronger could even be a physiotherapist could be a masseuse all those jobs doesn't actually have to be fully towards nutrition but if that really resonates and that's amazing so let's get the rest of the cards. So we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations and divine plan. We then have the mirror. Who or what is triggering you? Serenity, Archangel Shamuel. Malachite, nature, heart chakra. And we also have the lover. This, these two are really standing out to me. I feel like you guys could actually find your career when you are in a long-term relationship but I don't feel like it's going to be like oh I am I find my life purpose because I found my my man or my woman or whoever I feel like it's I feel so much more complete being in a relationship being with somebody sharing my energy sharing my life and it feels like it could be to do with the family as well that could even be your life purpose you could help families as well it could be family therapy that sort of thing I do feel as if you will find a match in love though. For those of you who want, I mean, who are those of you who want a relationship, I'm actually seeing, I know this is a career reading, but I do feel like your love life is definitely tied to your career. So you could actually meet somebody in your career who just is so much of a vibrational match, it's unreal. And it's because you've consciously worked on your heart chakra and being out in nature will really sustain this. I do feel as if being out in nature just really open, I mean, it does open up our heart chakra, but I do feel like you're going to find love through nature. So it's almost like you may meet somebody in terms of a partnership or a work colleague through nature, being out in nature, you might just suddenly bump into somebody and then you start talking, you know, and that sort of thing. And then it kind of ripples from there. It could be meeting somebody and they inspire you to do what you absolutely love. It's something like that. There's definitely some, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is because this is a general reading. There's so many different options, but this is really calling to me, like really, really. I do feel as if you're going to have a baby as well in your future or you're wanting or thinking about a baby. That's kind of what I'm feeling. You could even just be a mum. You could, I mean, not just be a mum. I didn't mean it like that. But you guys could be a mum for your career. That could be your life purpose. You may not want to work or you may not be able to work. So I do feel like for some of you, that could be your purpose. For, or even just for the moment, it could be right now wanting to nurture, you know. So it could mean various different things. So obviously take it as it resonates, guys. I'm going to put these cards up here because I, have, I don't have enough room. So I do feel... For you guys, there's definitely a divine plan. So you are, you may not feel like it, but you are definitely laying seeds, you are laying foundations, you are planting seeds and laying foundations. So I feel what's really important is to trust the universe, trust the process. You may be getting triggered by certain things right now and look into what those things are. If you're starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable with something, recognize what those triggers are and how it's making you feel because this could be an area of life that you need to just kind of tweak so you can manifest this next step I feel as if it's something to do with relationships it could be the fear of being alone abandoned something like that this and you may think it's not to do with career but everything is connected everything is interconnected so I do feel this is something that is really important to you so if you can work on the fear of rejection and abandonment I feel like you're really on top of it you're going to be really on top of it that may be something you already have or you have already worked on so just really focusing on that focusing on that energy so Shamayo is here to give you serenity through this process I feel like the best thing for you to do is to work on your mirror and how you are mirroring things so say if you are really lacking in finances right now just work on how you feel around that energy does it make you feel sad confused upset scared work on those emotions go into them feel into them I know it can be scary but the more you actually accept those emotions as they are I mean you you're having these feelings for a reason so if you are feeling these things understand that they're meant to be there so they can help you move forward and uncomfortable energies aren't always you know a bad thing they're, they're amazing they can help us or have a ripple effect towards where we actually need to go so that's really really beautiful and you are actually planting seeds and you may not feel like feel what you are but in the background um what's happening behind the scenes is these things are happening but they just 
a few little things need to happen before you actually get to the main goal, okay? As I say, it doesn't actually have to be your career. It could be your hobby. It could be just something that you're trying to overcome. But I do feel as if it's going to be it feels like quite a big challenge, but I feel like you're getting there, especially with this lover. It's like you've been through so many cycles and you could have done this in your past life as well. You could have gone through so many cycles in your past life and now you're really getting to the root of the situation. And I feel like the more you concentrate on your heart and how things are really affecting you emotionally, this is going to really help you understand what's going on with you and uh, how to get where you need to go. OK, so let's have a look at your uh, astrology section of the reading. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Oh, see, this is why I'm feeling like love. Love is so important for you guys. I feel like some of you guys are holding on to a toxic connection that is really not serving you and it could be holding you back on figuring out what you want to do, let alone actually getting to where you want to go in your career. It could be part of your career was your relationship and now you're letting go of that now. And you're learning to be on your own, possibly if you've been through a divorce or something like that or a huge loss. But this is the best thing that could have happened to you if that has happened. And you'll learn to, to go out there on your own. And that's that's beautiful, guys. It's, it's, it's interdependency. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling definitely. There's definitely some sort of connection around obstacles and things like that. Around obsession and problems. But you are learning. You're learning through this process. You're learning to deal with things in a different way. And when we do things in a different way, we get different results. So this is actually really good. That And it's a transition, guys. So through this transition, you're learning to adapt. I'm going to clarify what this is because I feel like the need... Because we have Venus and Mars. So this is mascul masculine and feminine. So it could be you're working on your masculine and feminine or... T, when you actually let go of this in the releasing of, I have to have a relationship, I have to have a connection, I have to have the best career... When you release that and just let it happen, you will meet somebody on the other side of this and it, they're going to be amazing and they're going to really help you in your career. So it's kind of like just trust in the universe that it's there and it's going to help you. But obviously, do whatever you need to do to sustain yourself in the meantime. And obviously, trusting is a process, so it will come with that. Beautiful. So really focusing on nurturing yourself. OK, so this is about working on yourself independently and then meeting your person. Oh, this is also another message that you guys may have been really suffering in your love life, but your career has been really, really good. Or you've been working, having to work on your career. So you could have had readings before where they're like, you're not really meant to have a relationship yet or you're meant to be single for a while and you just can't get to the relationship that is because you're meant to work on your career right now and through the career and working on yourself work on in your in, on your independence you are manifesting the best life for yourself and therefore the best career and the best relationship and you couldn't actually manifest this um, career with being in a relationship for some of you guys because you have to focus on yourself because a lot of you guys when you're in a relationship you're all, you're all in and sometimes it can be all consuming yeah, beautiful, perfect. Cancer energy again. So your fourth house could really be changing. So whatever you have in your fourth house, have a look there. Um, and we also have vertex. Also look where you have cancer. If you have cancer in your chart, look where that is. Um, it's okay. So we're having like a fated connection here. So this is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys are going to meet a soulmate through career. You could also meet, like, and when I say soulmate, I mean like a friend, um, a romantic relationship, you know, a kindred spirit, that sort of thing. So you're, you're, your focusing on your career could lead to a really, really lovely relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic, can be connect uh, friendship as well. But I love how we have karmic point because I love that. Like turning points are amazing. They're my thing, girl. Like I'm a Scorpio. I love a good transition. So I do feel the more you concentrate on your emotions and yourself and how you're dealing with things, that is going to help you so much because the more balanced you are, the more you're going to be able to pull in new connections and new situations because if you're feeling uncertain or confused the last thing the universe wants to give you is new opportunities because you need to be you need to be ready for them and it doesn't mean if you're not working on yourself you're not going to be ready but the more conscious we are of our emotions the better because we can really understand what we need in that moment okay i'm seeing you guys at a concert which is very random you guys could be working at a concert arena when they open up again I'm hearing the O2. We actually, in England, we have an O2 arena. And they're, I think they have darted around England. Reverse. Um, they're darted around England. So the main one is in London. For some reason, that's really, I'm really picking up on that. Like, really, really. Some of you guys might actually be on stage in the O2 arena in the next couple of years. Which is really interesting. Okay. 
Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. So finding um, a focus as well. You guys need a focus sometimes because when we get in our heads, it can be really uncomfortable. And you guys have really dealt with a lot of crap from people or relationships or just in career. You've dealt with a lot of confusion and you felt like you're really not getting anywhere. But there's definitely going to be a turning point. And as that card said, it's a fated connection. So it's going to be it's going to occur naturally and it's going to be everything you've wanted it to be and it could even be a, for a relationship you could already have a career that you really really like and you could um be watching this video just for some advice you know you may not be a bit you may not be confusing your career you may be very happy in your career and this is where you're going in terms of a new connection that could be extra advice for those of you who are focusing on something different not just career okay so but i do i'm hearing just everything is coming together which is really lovely dice and not dice not dice I'm talking about your charms can't get my words out today mercury in shadow is not a good look okay so right we have the letter O so you're like O <laughs> um I feel like this could this is literally just a reaction this could be like an O or an O <laughs> um I have no idea but I'm feeling more to do with like a circle like a, um yeah like a fated connection like it's meant to happen like a turning point I'm also seeing like you turning a wheel of a car like a steering wheel so matching with somebody who's really on your wavelength for your career which is going to be really lovely feeling peaceful comfortable and stable getting yourself grounded first being around nature being near water um you could be a water sign as well could be a cancer and we also have the turtle. So things are going a bit slower, but they are smoother than if you could if you rushed the situation. Don't force anything. If you have to, of course, do it. But if you're feeling like this really isn't working for me, don't force yourself. Something else will come along, okay? And also I'm hearing for some of you guys, you could be um, working on a book as well. And that could be something that is um, going to be in the works and something literally in the works. We actually have a shop in the UK called The Works where we sell books. So <laughs> we, I don't, know, I don't know who we is, but one sells books. <laughs> so that's your reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all the information is down below in the description box. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number four, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. We have the pink opal, beautiful. This is, okay, this is very random. For some reason I looked at this and it looked like a palm tree. I just did. So I don't know if you guys, something about palm trees. It could be a logo of a company you're gonna work with. It could be, yeah, some sort of like, I'm hearing like um, an Australian company. I'm seeing like Aussie, like the um, hair care brand. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing like botanicals. I'm also hearing author for some of you guys as well. Okay, spiritual teacher. Beautiful. That is the main energy. Let's get the rest of the cards. Oops, that's not the right one. <laughs> They're the same, similar green. My brain is like right up my bum hole right now. <laughs> Sometimes I, re I really can't get my words out today, guys. So I do apologize if my words are really not there today. Okay, so spiritual teacher, you heal with your classes, sessions and seminars, let go. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. So I feel like if you're already a spiritual teacher, you're on the right path pretty much. This is something, if you're not, if you're not enjoying it, I do feel like you're letting go of this now. So it could be you're wanting to be something else or do something else, but you're just not sure what that is. And I do feel like the letting go is about the unknown and being okay with the unknown. I can't remember the actual saying, but I'm hearing the only constant is change that's what i'm hearing so okay next cards we have is unikite living in the present heart chakra intention oh you guys are really learning to get grounded that's interesting and then we have trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you and then we also have palladies double mission channeling and uplifting humanity Last card we have is the dead end. So whenever this card comes out, it is a very intense card. So it's not just like light and fairies. This is something that you have felt so damn stuck. You felt like nothing is there for me. Why the hell is this taking so freaking long? So the dead end, I really like this card. I mean, I'm a Scorpio, so I can, I like this card because it's dark, <laughs> but it's just as in dark as in 
black color not as in like emotionally but it could be it could be things are really weighing you down right now and things feel so damn stuck the best thing i can tell you guys is to really i know it sounds simple but let go of the situation because if you are pushing and forcing the last thing that's going to happen is things are going to come towards you because the universe puts us at dead end sometimes so we have to change so we have to alter our next move and intention could be also to work on your emotions around the situation, but also to shift your focus. If this is really getting you down, the last thing you wanna do is focus on it because if we're worrying, it's not actually gonna help the situation. And at the end of the day, it's gonna get better. It just may not get better at the time that you think it's gonna get better. So living in the present is really, really important for you guys. And things are gonna feel a little bit confusing right now because things are in fluctuation. Things are in flux, energy is constantly moving. So the best thing you can do is to work on your energy and how you react to this situation. And I'm hearing the only constant is change again. I'm hearing that again. So I feel as if your mission is a very big mission. I feel like you're not the sort of person to just have an office day job. I feel like you're somebody who needs to inspire people. You need to tell people what your knowledge is. And I feel like you're getting a really big feeling to change up your lifestyle. And this could be in various different ways. It could be watching different spiritual teachers, unsubscribing to people, not following people on Instagram or, you know, coming away from social media. That would really help you to discover where you need to go. And your mission might be really big. You know, it could be that you're helping humanity to shift upwards, you know, to ascend and that's a big job and you may have felt like your your life or just up the last up till now like the last few years has been really confusing and complicated and it hasn't felt like a straight line so if you've been feeling like this just recognize that you're not on your own a lot of people are going through this and listen to your intuition what is it telling you to do where is it telling you to go and if you're struggling to connect to it just carry on and when it when the inspiration strikes, it will come to you naturally. Because the last thing you want to do is force intuition. And if you force it, it's not going to be an authentic, you know, message. And sometimes things do take time, but that's okay. At the end of the day, sometimes we have to rest. Sometimes we have to take a break to then restart ourselves. And Unikai is also really good for physical health. So you could have gone through quite a few physical health problems and felt very trapped. But just knowing that when you come out of this health situation or as you are going through it, you're learning a lot about yourself and what your body needs. And this in turn is going to support you within your career because it may help you to learn a lot. And then as you come out of this situation, you're going to have so much knowledge to help other people, which isn't always as fun. But at the end of the day, we go through these things so we can help others as well. You know, it's, it's all meant to be at the end of the day. And for me as a Scorpio, I mean, a lot of you guys, if you are Scorpios watching this, you guys will know that us Scorpios go through so much crap. <laughs> we go through so much crap and I don't know what it is. I think it's because we're just so deep and intense, but we go through so damn much. And I've learned so much in the short amount of time that I've been here. You know, I'm not an, I'm an old soul girl, but I'm only 24, <laughs> you know, but I've been through so much, you know, and I feel like I've gone through 50 lifetimes already just in those 24 years. So sometimes we're meant to go through stuff so we can help other people learn. And even though it's uncomfortable, the best thing we can do is be in our own lane and not compare ourselves to other people. Because the last thing you want to do is look at somebody else and think, I want their life. I mean, you can obviously be inspired by it, but that is a separate person from you. You have your own life too. And sometimes it can be a little bit different, but be inspired by it. And also, I feel like for you guys making a mood board would really help. And also just getting creative and just doing something fun for yourself. But if you guys are more on the practical side and you feel like you need to do something practical, doing something creative and practical is going to be really nice and satisfying for you because you're going to feel like you're doing something in the in the middle of not being able to work or being unemployed. And being unemployed is not a bad thing. It can feel like it in this weird societal pressures, which I don't know why they're there, but there we go. Um, <laughs> coming from a Scorpio right here. Um, but I do feel as if it's taking off that pressure. Because as I say, the last thing you want to do is put pressure on yourself. You are doing the best you freaking can, okay? So you have to learn that this is your process. And if it takes a little bit of time, so what, you know? Maybe you have never been unemployed. This could be the first time you're unemployed or the first time you feel so scared. But 
in this moment right now, you have complete freedom to figure out what you want to do. And you may worry about money and things like that, but at the end of the day, sometimes we have to just be in that position so we can expand, so we can change our perception on something. But you will get there, guys, and it will no longer be this dead end, okay? It will be, you just have to relax into it. Whenever I get this card, it normally reminds me of the plant that's in Harry Potter that I've totally forgotten. What is it called, please? I've totally forgotten what it's called. I don't know, I've totally forgotten. The snare, the snare. I think it's called the snare. Uh, basically, I think it's in the first or the second Harry Potter, they're really, really young and they fall into this plant and basically the more they struggle, the more it takes hold of them. So Hermione, like one of the main characters, says basically to relax and they fall and they drop to the other side of underneath this plant, you know? and then they're free. So basically what it's saying is to relax into this. This is scary and confusing, but it is ready, getting you ready for something new, okay? So the more you relax into it, the more you're gonna be free from it, okay? And your emotions are the most important thing. The way you're reacting is the most important thing. So if other people are telling you what to do and where to go, tell them to stuff it, <laughs> I'm joking. But if you do feel like you need to do that, I mean, go for it, girl. Like if someone's being, really horrible to you then go tell them to shove it <laughs> basically just do your own thing this is your life you're in charge you have your own body you have your own heart your own organs you get to make the choices you know your own body is your it's your decision essentially it's not anyone else's obviously we can get advice of course and obviously if you're quite young it may be a bit different but you've got to make your own choices for yourself and it's learning and to make your own choices, you've got to learn what, what's right for you. What is your journey? What is your path? Okay, so definitely, as I was saying that, this really resonates. It's about yourself and learning about who you are, what you're passionate about. It could be you're just literally learning about your physical appearance. You could be learning to accept your physical appearance and that could really give you a lot of confidence to move forward into a new career. And I do feel as I'm hearing careers aren't the end of the world. You know, you, you don't have to have the most amazing career to be fulfilled. But at the end of the day, if you are unemployed or you have never had a job before, you could be, you're actually in a really good position because you can go anywhere and do anything. There's no restrictions really. Obviously there is some, everyone has different restrictions, but at the end of the day, you gotta go for it girl. If there's something you wanna do, go for it. So the first thing I'm picking up on is that some of you guys could be in Aries. Aries is also about confidence. It's about who you are, who, who do you wanna be in this world? And we have the fifth house of Leo, I create. So I do feel like something creative is going to really be good for you. I feel like you're the sort of person that's very visual. You learn from visual energies. So like videos, um, pictures and things like that. Things with colour and sound. So I feel as if if you want to research something, I feel like finding the way you research is going to really help you. And um, the best way to research I feel like some of you guys could be wanting to be an actor, an actress, um, something where you're in the limelight, the spotlight, but also like an inspirational teacher. I'm actually hearing some of you guys want to be president or like um, someone who's in charge. And we also have with the uh, 10th house of Capricorn, this says this is the house of fulfillment and social status. Here is where we see structures, corporations, tradition, ambition, public image and fame. Discipline, achievements, recognition, rules, and father figure. It's also associated with power and authority as well as the people who exert them. I achieve. So this is really interesting because you have the ascendant and then you have the MC. Both of them are really powerful. So wherever your rising is, this is where it's showing you where you need to work on. So say if you are a Capricorn rising, you're somebody who likes to have control. You know, you're very powerful. You're very intense. So this use that to your advantage. If you're a Virgo rising, you could be very sensitive, very nurturing. Use that to your advantage. Whatever your ascendant is, that could really help you recognize what your career is. If you're an Aries rising, you could be very passionate, very fiery, someone who loves to lead, who loves to help people organize their life, you know, things like that. And I do feel like if you can understand your way of acting and the way you interact with the world, this is going to make you feel so much more confident because you're understanding okay oh this is what I need to feel to feel safe and I do feel as if being a public image is something that could be really important to you you could be somebody who I don't feel like you want a nine-to-five job but I do feel like structures can be very comfortable for you um not so much restriction more about 
kind of a daily routine could really help you to feel much more better about yourself, especially if you are struggling with money or a, a, co- a career or a job. I do feel like having some sort of structure in the day will really help. So going out for a walk every day, eating a, a, the same food every day, if that feels good for you. And also watching something that just fulfills you and researching that could really help as well. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We're going to look at the tarot and then we're going to pull you a couple of charms to give you a bit of advice. So group number four. You guys are definitely very um, career driven. Is it for a lot of you guys? Yeah, the emperor, that is literally Aries. So I love that. They're literally clarifying the astrology right now. I love that. So you're somebody who is very driven, likes to be a leader. You're somebody who's not scared of bleeding. You like to be in the limelight. You're somebody who likes to be noticed. You could have Leo in your chart quite strongly as well. Yeah, you're going for a really big breakthrough. You're currently going through, um, I'm hearing shadow of the heart. <clears throat> and I have no idea what that is. Can you tell me what that is? They're saying it doesn't doesn't matter. Just let, just say it. I'm like, okay. Um, it could also be um, a, oh my God, I'm getting so many weird words. I'm hearing a lot of like Harry potter type words. So for you guys, you could be watching a lot of Harry Potter. You could be very passionate about the acting or the, the filming or the photography in it. Something like that. I'm hearing the fear of achievements. Some of you guys could actually be really scared of achieving things. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. So I do feel like, I feel like this could be in the reverse as well. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have so much energy, you don't know where to put it. And sometimes that can cause a bit of aggression or uncomfortability. So the more you express this aggression through physical movement and speech, that's going to really help. So talk to a friend, exercise, that sort of thing. You may feel like you're going around in circles, but I feel like right now you're going for a towel moment. So it could feel very, I'm hearing a ruckus. (laughs) So you could feel very uncomfortable and unstable and like on shaky ground but you are getting, you are getting there. Okay. You are figuring out your process. And I do feel as if this is something that you're going to, you are going to find your, you are going to find where you need to be. Okay. So, um, where do we need to go now? Okay. Let's have a look at your charms. Let's see what charms you get and let's see what's I'm picking up on Sagittarius as well. So you guys want a lot of freedom. You're somebody who doesn't like to be tied down. Okay. Right, so we have the letter O, S, Q, and T. Q, T, Q, <laughs> um, We also have the sun, a tree, a dragonfly, a butterfly, and a purple flower. So the color purple is all about the crown chakra. So I feel for you, focusing on your intention and where you're putting your focus is really important. And also listen to your intuition and your guides. And if you're not getting any messages, the more you relax into it, the more you're going to um, download, get download. You're going through a really big transformation. And if you're wanting a soulmate or a partner, I do see your partner's also going through this uh, situation or position right now as well. Could even be somebody you're already with, but I do feel like it's somebody who you may not already know. And this could be like in the ether, something happening in the 5D. Um, we have the sun and it said made with a smile. So I feel like you're somebody who is very excitable. You love to smile. You love to laugh. You're somebody who has a lot of inspirational energy. You're somebody who inspires a lot of people. And I feel like the more you fulfill with this energy, like really focusing on things that make you happy, I feel like that will really help. So things like researching your, your ultimate career or watching, looking at people who and inspire and get inspired by people who have that career and, and possibly just getting ideas. And also you're growing a lot. You're going through rapid amount of growth and transformation. So be very kind to yourself and you could be growing your own food or wanting to do a career outside in nature, or you could be somebody who just really loves um, nature and helping the plants grow and things like that. I'm hearing you could be a farmer as well. I'm hearing something to do with fertilizer as well and a tractor. I'm also wanting to pull another charm. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a cat beautiful so working on your feminine energy working on just relaxing into this process I mean cat I'm seeing a cat and it's sleeping and it's not really worried about the outside world so I feel like just focusing in on your own energy right now will really help you focus and sometimes it can be confusing but embrace the confusion because 
when you get to your end goal, you're not going to be so um, in a ruckus. <laughs> you're going to feel much more grounded. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope this helped you. If you'd like to purchase a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all the information is down below in the description box. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Much love. Bye.